Back when I was an automotive instructor, one of the first things I drilled into new techs wasn't how to turn a wrench. It was how to safely lift a vehicle. After a while, lifting a car becomes second nature. We know the lifting points, we know which adapters we need, and we can feel when a vehicle is balanced. But that muscle memory starts with understanding the basics of safety and proper lift procedures. Even experienced techs can benefit from taking a step back and brushing up on lift safety, especially as the equipment and the vehicles we're working on keep evolving. In the Benpack EV Garage Studio at Babcock's Media, we've got a solid setup with a Benpack 10AP two-post lift and a Moby EVS mobile scissor lift table. Whether it's for something routine like brake work or something newer like EV battery replacement, using a lift correctly is still priority number one. Let's start with the obvious, safety. We're talking about vehicles weighing thousands of pounds suspended overhead. There's no room for close enough. The risks of improper lifting are real. Misaligned arms, ignored weight limits, skipped inspections, any of those can lead to dropped vehicles, damage, or worse. That's why every lift job should start with the basics. Is the lift rated for the vehicle's weight? Is the equipment maintained and functioning properly? Are we using the right adapters and positioning the arms correctly? Doesn't matter if it's your first day or your thousandth. Those questions always apply. Lifting points are another critical piece of the puzzle. Most of us can rattle off common locations for common vehicles, but with all the body styles, frame configurations, and new EV designs, it's worth double checking. And remember, lifting points aren't universal. What works for a sedan may be completely off for an SUV or a unibody EV with a giant battery pack. That's where lift adapters come in handy. They help align the arms to the exact right spots and give you the extra clearance or support you need to make sure the lift is rock solid before anything goes up in the air. Out of all the lift types out there, the two post lift still earns its spot as the workhorse of most shops. You get great access to wheels, underbody components, suspension, basically everything you need to get the job done. But even with a great lift, how you use it matters. Weight distribution is a huge factor in lift safety. If a vehicle's center of gravity isn't aligned with the lift, it throws off the whole balance. The lift arms might be in the right place, but the vehicle could still be unstable if it's nose heavy or unevenly loaded. That's why we take the time to double check arm placement, balance, and overall stability before hitting the button to raise the vehicle. The Benpack AP we use in the studio is a great example. It's got bimetric arms that can be set up in either symmetric or asymmetric configurations to give you the flexibility to lift different types of vehicles with a single set of arms. Understanding how your specific lift works is just as important as understanding the car you're working on. And if you're working in a shop with multiple lift types or newer techs, formal training is a must. The Automotive Lift Institute offers the Lifting It Right online course that covers all the essentials from basic lift operation to advanced safety checks. Bottom line, whether you're working on disc brakes or dropping an EV battery pack, lift safety isn't something you outgrow. The fundamentals still matter and the tools we use today make it easier and safer than ever to get the job done right. I'm Eric Garba, coming to you from the Benpack EV Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.